your new Miss Louisiana, contestant number one, Miss Lafayette, Lacey Sanchez. It's been an amazing year for me. Um, not only have I gotten to travel across the state and learn about even more about Louisiana, but I've learned a lot about myself too, being Miss Louisiana. Well, when you were crowned Miss Louisiana, what did you feel at that moment? Shock. Um, I, I think back on that moment and literally as soon as they place the crown on your head, you're on the job. You're working. Uh, you are being an ambassador for all of Louisiana. So instantly my life changed completely, but it was also so satisfying because I worked very hard for it and all that hard work paid off. Tell us a little bit about your journey to get to be Miss Louisiana. Well, I, I was actually in grad school last year. I've given up a year of school to be Miss Louisiana. So I was up at 4.30 in the morning working out, then going to grad school, then to my graduate assistantship, and then in the evenings doing homework and then preparing some more for Miss Louisiana. So it was uh, quite a busy year um, and a lot, a lot of hard work, but it was my goal, it was what I wanted, and it was all very worth it. Well, my name is Stephanie Averett. I attend Northwestern State University, actually at the Alexandria campus. My hometown is Simpson, Louisiana, and I am your Miss Holiday in Dixie. Tell us, why do you want to be the next Miss Louisiana? I mean, who doesn't want to be the Miss next Miss Louisiana? I think I watched this pageant last year, and I was like, to be able to hold a candle up to those girls who are so beautiful and so philanthropic. And I actually am here now, and I know that Miss Louisiana does so many great things, and she goes out and supports her state and is the official hostess, and I know exactly what that, that job is, and I know that I can fulfill it. Well, tell us a little bit about your platform and why you chose it. Well, my platform is actually Safely Sunkissed, and it's skin cancer advocacy and awareness. I have a very strong family history of melanoma, and I actually had a run-in with skin cancer at a very young age from tanning. Later on, I was actually diagnosed with a vascular condition because of it. So my job is to go out and, you know, preach about the dangers that, you know, sun tanning can cause to your skin and how to not discourage you from having that perfect golden glow, but to help you find safer alternatives that could save your life. Uh, what are you majoring in in college and what do you plan to do after you graduate? Well, my major is in radiology, but I'd actually like to attend PA school and get my MBA. And I want to specialize in orthopedics, um, an outpatient clinic hopefully, and maybe one day be a CFO of a hospital. My name is Morgan Tanner. I go to Louisiana Tech University. I'm representing as Miss Natchitoches and I'm from Monroe. Uh, Morgan, tell us a little bit about your platform and why you chose it. My platform is seatbelt safety, and that is incredibly important to me. Last year in May, my mom was in a really bad car accident. She wasn't wearing her seatbelt. Unfortunately, she was in the hospital for five days in neurological ICU. The five days, it was so hard to sit by her side and just wait for her to once again become conscious, but she had injuries to her brainstem and her spinal cord that were just too great. She didn't wake up, and we shared our last hug in the hospital. So after losing my mom, she was also my best friend. She taught me to find the positive in everything. And through my platform, if I can save one person's life, that's enough positivity for me. So is that the reason you decided to do pageants, or has there been other, some other goal? Last year, my sophomore year, was the first time I ever competed in a preliminary Miss Louisiana pageant, and that was for my university, Miss Louisiana Tech. I didn't expect to fall in love with it as much as I did. So all last year, throughout the competition year, I continued to compete. Didn't have any luck, but I learned a lot. So I came back this year, and that's when I won the title of Miss Natchitoches. Well, why do you want to be Miss Louisiana? I want to be Miss Louisiana because my story of having to compete in, I think, seven preliminary pageants total just to make it to Miss Louisiana, other people have told me that that story is very inspiring and that they admire my dedication and perseverance. And I think that I could be a really good example that hard work and dedication will pay off if you just continue to chase your dreams and don't give up. Ashton Davis, University of Louisiana at Monroe, Miss Louisiana Stock Show, and I'm from Delha, Louisiana. All right, Ashton, tell us a little bit about your platform and why you chose it. My platform is Operation Homefront. I picked this because it supports military families. My twin brother just recently joined the military and I knew I had to pick it. <laughs> All right, tell us a little bit why you want to be the next Miss Louisiana. I like to be the next Miss Louisiana so I could promote my platform and meet new people and have new opportunities. 
What about the scholarships this organization provides? Tell us, how, what does that mean to you? The scholarships are very important. I think getting an education is very important and the scholarships would help a lot. Well, tell us, what field do you plan to go into after you graduate? Um, I'm majoring in dental hygiene, and I plan to apply to the dental hygiene program this spring at ULM, and that's what I'm going to do. My platform is called Fake It, Don't Bake It. It's about skin cancer awareness and choosing to use tanning alternatives instead of tanning in the sun or in tanning beds. And I chose it because um, I have irregular precancerous moles, and it's something that I want to help prevent in other people. Uh, tell us a little bit about why you want to be the next Miss Louisiana. I want to show girls that uh, you can make a difference and you can be someone that people look up to and you don't have to be like, you can be normal and you can be who you are. You don't have to put on a show and that's what I want to show other girls. My name is Hannah Zizai. I'm from West Monroe, Louisiana. I'll be attending Louisiana State University in the fall and I'm Miss Louisiana Port City. All right, tell us a little bit about your platform and why you chose it. My platform is called The Silent Epidemic, Dropping Out of School. I chose my platform because I wanted a platform that I could reach to many different ages, to middle school, high school, college kids talking about dropping out. What people are unaware of is the increasing rates of dropout in our country. Many, it's so, it, that's why it's called The Silent Epidemic, because many people do not know how many kids drop out of school. And so I would really love to be a voice in our state to help kids know that dropping out of school will uh, be a destruction to their life for the rest of their lives. All right, tell us a little bit about why you want to be the next Miss Louisiana. I would love to be the next Miss Louisiana because Miss Louisiana stands for so many things and represents so many different characteristics and she stands for being a beautiful young woman who is strong, well-spoken, very well-rounded and smart and I would love to represent a, a person or represent this organization as that person and be a role model for so many women around the state. What is your major in college and what do you plan to do after you graduate? I'll be majoring in biology and I'm planning to go to medical school. As of now, I would like to be an endocrinologist because my brother has a uh, growth hormone deficiency and I would love to be a doctor to help that. My name is Anna Blake. I am Miss Heart of Pilot. I go to Louisiana Tech University and I'm from Ruston. All right, tell us a little bit about your platform and why you chose it. My platform is called Finding the Princess Inside, and it's all about uh, getting involved with young girls' lives and being able to help them uh, sow seeds of confidence, poise, and character, and just really being an impact on their life. Um, why did you choose that? Is there any particular why? Well, I traveled to Nicaragua on a mission trip, and we volunteered at a girls' orphanage there, and that's kind of where I just got this heart for young girls' lives and really being able to plug into them. Well, why do you want to be Miss Louisiana? I want to be Miss Louisiana because it is just my absolute dream job. I love this service, and I just want to be able to make a difference in the state of Louisiana and just connect with people in the Children's Miracle Hospital. It's just everything about being Miss Louisiana. I just I, I want it so bad. <laughs> uh, tell us a little bit about what the college scholarships mean to you that this organization provides. They're absolutely amazing. I It's really, really helped me get through college with my parents and just it's been such a blessing on my family being able to have those scholarships available. My name is Lincoln Pierce. I'm Miss Kane River. I'm from Florine, Louisiana, and I attend Northwestern State University. All right, tell us a little bit about your platform and why you chose it. My platform is called the Weekend Warrior Backpack Project. I chose this platform because I've worked at a program called Pals at School for the past four years, and I saw a need that that some children aren't lucky enough to get a meal at, when they go home from school. So we devised a plan to collect food for the kids on the weekends and sit at home so they can have food on the weekends. Wow. All right, tell us a little bit about why you want to be the next Miss Louisiana. I want to be the next Miss Louisiana, just to be a good role model for the rest of um, young girls around Louisiana. Tell us, what are you majoring in in college, and what do you hope to do after you graduate? My major is secondary education, and I hope to be a high school English teacher. My name is Brianna Mann. I'm Miss Spirit of the Red. I go to Our Lady of the Lake College, and I am from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Tell us a little bit about your platform and why you chose it. My platform is Work for a Cause, Not for Applause, promoting volunteerism. And I chose this because volunteering is something that's very important and close to my heart, and it's something that can help everyone, and everyone can do it. Uh, wh where have you volunteered? Where, where do you like to volunteer? 
I volunteer a lot of different places. One of my favorite places to volunteer is the homeless shelter in downtown Baton Rouge. I find that I get a lot out of it as well as the people that I serve. Why do you want to be the next Miss Louisiana? I want to be the next Miss Louisiana so that I can promote my personal platform as well as Children's Miracle Network and, you know, be a smiling face through our state. Um, what about the scholarships this organization provides? How, how have they helped you? These scholarships have helped women, you know, over the years to go to college and be able to get a higher education and they've also helped me do that. I'm Tori Thompson. I'm currently Miss Louisiana Jazzland. I attend Northwestern State University in Natchitoches, Louisiana and my hometown is Natchitoches, Louisiana. All right, tell us a little bit about your platform and why you chose it. My platform is Make a Friend, Make a Change, Make an Impact, and it is a program I developed for elementary, middle, and high school students to have a forum to talk about the social issue of bullying, uh, where I get to share my own personal story of bullying with them, but it also talks about making friends, making changes, and making impacts in their school community and hopefully in their own um, bigger community to stop the cycle of bullying with them and with their words. All right, tell us why you want to be the next Miss Louisiana. Well, this is my fourth round here at Miss Louisiana, and I actually got a chance to go to Atlantic City and be at Miss America this past year, and so it's really given me this burning desire to go back as Miss Louisiana. And Miss Louisiana is something I truly believe in, and it's something that I wouldn't have come back, you know, for four years in a row if I didn't, and it's something that I want to promote and educate people about, and also, like, Everyone has said, you know, spread my platform and spread Children's Miracle Network and really be a representative of my state. Uh, tell us what have the scholarship dollars meant to you that this organization provides? The scholarship money is, it, it has changed my life. It has put me through school at Northwestern State University, and that's what's so wonderful about Miss Louisiana, and I would love to promote as well, is that it is the number one scholarship organization for women, and why not? promote that and really let people know what a great opportunity they have um, to compete for Miss Louisiana, even if they never actually get to become Miss Louisiana. Uh, my name is Amy Mathern. I am Miss Heart of Trenton, and I live here in Monroe, Louisiana. All right. Tell us a little bit about your platform and why you chose it. My platform is Make a Joyful Noise, and it's all about getting young students, uh, educators, administrators excited about music education because, unfortunately, it's um, programs all over the state are being cut. So my platform is all about getting people excited, getting people interested, and helping to save those programs that are still in existence. Why do you want to be the next Miss Louisiana? I want to be Miss Louisiana because I feel like it would be the best and biggest honor to represent my state, my hometown, here in Monroe, Louisiana, to spread my platform and to represent Louisiana at Miss America. Uh, tell us what you are majoring in in college and what you plan to do after you graduate. I am a vocal music education major and I actually graduate this May 9th and I've applied for graduate school here at ULM in speech language pathology and it's my goal to be a vocal therapist but work with singers. I'm Kiani Betts. I'm currently Miss Greater Baton Rouge from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I went to Georgia Southern University. All right, tell us a little bit about your platform and why you chose it. My platform is Level Ground Ending Educational Inequity and I'm currently a teacher and I teach because there are so many students who don't get the education they deserve, who are behind grade level and affects our state's economy, our state's politics, what we're capable of doing, our reputation nationally. It's just important that we as a community come together behind teachers and policy makers and end this inequity between education and parishes. And why do you want to be the next Miss Louisiana? I want to be Miss Louisiana because it's important that I have a champion for my kids on a national platform. To be a champion for my students, to get to be a role model for young women, and to start to say that Miss America is what women is being all about. It's scholarship, it's service, it's style. There's not just one definition of being a woman. That's important to me. That's why I want to be Miss Louisiana. And what would the scholarship dollars mean to you? It means I get to continue my life of service debt free. I took out a lot of loans to go to college. My parents didn't have the funds to send me to college, so I get to continue my life as a teacher debt free. I'm Hannah Touch. I'm from Halton, Louisiana, and I go to Northwestern State University. All right. Tell us a little bit about your platform and why you chose it. My platform is called Love Your City, and it's all about working with kids in my home cities of Halton and Bossier and Shreveport, those who live in poverty, getting to show them a path to success and working with them and building relationships. Wow. Why do you want to be the next Miss Louisiana? Because I would love to work with the kids all over this beautiful state and get to work all over America with these kids. Uh, tell us what you're majoring in in college and what you hope to do after you graduate. 
I'm majoring in music business, and I hope to go off and, you know, work at a recording label, maybe be a worship leader on the side, and hopefully kind of transition into a graduate program of musical therapy later on in life. It's Dion Sumer. I go to LSU. I'm a sophomore, Louisiana State University, and I'm from Zachary, and I'm representing Central as Miss Pride of Central. Uh, tell us a little bit about your platform and why you chose it. Well, I actually changed my platform this year. It's a skin cancer awareness. It's called Skin Formed Sun and Safety. Um, and it's because I started recently working for a dermatologist and I've seen the effects skin cancer has on everyone. And we live in the South. We live in Louisiana, sports and paradise, and everyone's out in the sun. So I'm out promoting sun safety. Uh, tell us a l little bit about why you want to be the next Miss Louisiana. Well, I was Miss Louisiana's Outstanding Teen in 2012, and uh, that was kind of my first little tidbit of pageantry. And over the years, I think that I became Miss Louisiana's Outstanding Teen. I saw what the Miss Louisiana organization can do for young women, and I'm out here to try to be an advocate for it. All right, tell us what you're majoring in in college and what you hope to do after you graduate. I hope to do what you're doing right now. I'm in broadcast journalism, and I want to be Megan Kelly someday. April Nelson. I'm from Mandeville, Louisiana. I went to Oklahoma City University. I'm a graduate with a Bachelor of Music degree. All right, tell us a little bit about your platform and why you chose it. My platform is called IOU, which stands for Improving Others Through Volunteer Service. And I've been very volunteer oriented since I was like eight years old. It's been instilled in me um, through my family. And for me, I chose a platform that I think is all encompassing and something that everybody can get behind and it's definitely something that's relatable. Tell us why you want to be the next Miss Louisiana. I want to be Miss Louisiana because I believe in everything this organization stands for. I want to be a servant leader in the community. I want to be able to reach people all throughout the state. I want to be a role model for young girls who look up to Miss Louisiana and think, oh my gosh, like, I can be her. I want to be her, and I want to be everything that she stands for. And it gives me an opportunity to not only promote my platform, but also to perform for people all throughout the state and really be an advocate for people who don't have a voice. Um, what did you graduate in, and what do you hope to do uh, after you stop doing Miss Louisiana? <laughs> after I Miss Louisiana. <laughs> um, well, I graduated in musical theater. I got a bachelor of music degree from Oklahoma City University. It was a wonderful school, and I had a wonderful experience there. Right now, I am currently performing in New Orleans and all around New Orleans with different theater companies. I'm also performing with bands. And then after Miss Louisiana, I plan on continuing to perform. But if I get to be Miss Louisiana or potentially Miss America, I would use the scholarship money that I do earn to go to graduate school and go for broadcasting. My name is Ashlyn Lanford. I am Ms. Benton. I am from Pineville, Louisiana, and I am going to attend ULM here. All right. Uh, tell us a little bit about your platform and why you chose it. Well, my platform is called Stop and Connect, and it's basically internet safety. But since in computer labs now, most teachers do a pretty good job of getting the kids into a safe situation, I focus more on social media because it's so prevalent in people's lives now, and it starts at an early age. And so it's all about being aware online and being a safe digital citizen and being aware of how your online reputation can affect your life as well. And so it just teaches them from an early age how to be responsible online. Uh, why do you want to be the next Miss Louisiana? because I want to make a difference. And tell us what you're going to major in in college and what you hope to do after you graduate. I'm going to major in kinesiology and the ultimate goal is to obtain my doctorate degree in physical therapy. My name is Holly Conway. I am Miss Taste of the Twin Cities 2015. I attend Northwestern State University and I'm from Monroe, Louisiana. All right, tell us a little bit about your platform and why you chose it. My platform is Leora's Legacy, Raising the Bar to Better Health. Leora is my great-grandmother. She lived to be almost 102, right before her birthday she passed. Um, this platform is really focused on physical health and eating correctly. Um, I think that it's sad that Louisiana is sixth in the nation for obesity and fourth for childhood obesity. And I really want to target all ages and get them more active and eating correctly. All right, tell us why you want to be the next Miss Louisiana. I want to be the next Miss Louisiana because growing up I was never exposed to very feminine ways. I was always a tomboy and I, I kind of had this view of pageants that was incorrect and 
as I got older and met more people, I started to see how, what pageants really are and who those girls really are. And I would love to make a difference in the world through the Miss America organization. Uh, tell us uh, what you were majoring in in college and what you hope to do after you graduate. I am majoring in theater with a concentration in musical theater. It's fun. <laughs> I would like to, initially after college, I would love to work on cruise lines and travel the world and perform. But in the long run, in the future, I would love to be on Broadway. I am Shannon Bird. I am Miss Vucare. I am from a native of West Monroe, Louisiana, but grew up in East Texas. And I went to Northwestern State University. All right, tell us a little bit about your platform and why you chose it. Well, my platform is Let's Move Louisiana. It helps me to be an advocate of action in this state as well as promote physical fitness to help conquer the epidemic of childhood obesity in the state of Louisiana. And tell us why you want to be the next Miss Louisiana. I want to be the Miss, next Miss Louisiana so that I can have the opportunity to not only spread my platform, but to truly make a positive impact on the youth of our generation, especially in Louisiana with such high numbers of childhood obesity. All right. What are you majoring in in college and what do you plan to do after you graduate? I majored in health and human performance. I'm currently studying. Um, I'm adding on a business degree so that I can be in hospital administration and I'm also studying to be bilingual. My name is Eva Edinger. I go to Louisiana Tech University. I am Miss Louisiana Tech and I'm from Ruston, Louisiana. Tell us a little bit about your platform and why you chose it. My platform is early detection of congenital heart defects. And the main thing I'm promoting is that parents are aware that testing is available for their kids to see if they possibly have a congenital heart defect. And to also be an encourager to those that are possibly dealing with heart problems. Because I've been in their shoes. I actually had heart surgery. So just being a role model to those. And also promoting um, testing is available in hospitals in Louisiana also. Well, tell us why you want to be the next Miss Louisiana. I believe in everything this organization stands for. I think it would be such an incredible honor to be able to represent our state in the best way possible, um, whether it's doing public service projects or being involved in whatever I possibly can to better our state in every single way and just being able to represent um, all that this state stands for. All right. Tell us what you're majoring in in college and where, what you hope to do after you graduate. I am a biology pre-med student, so I hope to per pursue medical school, school one day, excuse me, but I'm also a passionate dancer, so I'm hoping to possibly pursue dance for a few years after I graduate and get my degree. I would love to m move to New York and possibly do Broadway or some type of contemporary company and then pursue medical school. I'm not in any type of rush. Well, I'm Victoria Cleveland. I'm Miss Bell of the Bayou. I'm from Livingston, Louisiana, and I attend Louisiana State University. Tell us a little bit about your platform and why you chose it. My platform is Hear Me Now, A-E-I-O-U, and it's A-E-I-O-U stands for Awareness, Education, Inspiration, and Offering Starts With You, and I chose this platform to raise awareness about the of the deaf community also um, educate people of the deaf community and inspire those who are a part of the hearing impaired and deaf community and offering through um, financial aid to those pe to those people who need assistance and hearing aids and different activities in the deaf and hearing impaired communities Okay. Mm -hmm. Tell us why you want to be the next Miss Louisiana. I want to be the next Miss Louisiana to be an inspiration, to uh, in inspire those children who are just like me um, growing up in the hearing impaired and deaf community who have a hearing deficit and just were told that they weren't able to achieve their, their highest potential because they were hearing impaired. And I want to show them that it is possible because I am able to do that today. Uh, tell us what you're majoring in in college and what you do hope to do after you graduate. My major is textile and apparel design and I minor in business and theater. And I plan to have, after college um, and obtaining my degree in textile and apparel design, I plan to be a menswear designer. I currently work um, as a co-designer for Christian Collection right here in Monroe. And I love uh, everything about menswear and I want to be the leading woman in menswear. <laughs> I'm Sarah Torregrosa. I go to un the University of Louisiana at Monroe. I'm from West Monroe, Louisiana, and I'm a spirit of the Washita. Uh, tell us a little bit about your platform and why you chose it. 
Um, my platform is Project 41, and it's a local organization designed to rescue, value, and transform the lives of sex trafficking victims. And I chose it because once I started looking into the domestic issue that we have here, um, that our neighbors are struggling with, I really just couldn't keep quiet about it. Um, tell us why do you want to be Miss Louisiana? Um, I want to be Miss Louisiana because Miss Louisiana is always something, someone that I've looked up to and I want to be that inspiration for young girls across the state. Okay. My name is Renee Piku. I attend Southeastern Louisiana University. My title this year is Miss Southern Oaks and my platform is the American Cancer Society. All right. Tell us a little bit about your platform and tell us, you know, why you've chosen right. it. Well, my platform is the American Cancer Society, and it focuses on um, a SNAP program that I created, which is mainly for cancer prevention. And I go into schools and I get to talk about SNAP, which stands for Sun Safety, Nutrition, Activity, and Prevention. Why do you want to be the next Miss Louisiana? Wow, well, it's, it's a huge question. Um, I think it's, well, one thing that we say in Miss Louisiana is the four points of the crown. They have style, service, scholarship, and success. And one of those main points to me is service. And I just know that even as a local title holder, whenever you go into a school or any civic um, organization and talk, eyes listen, you know, people listen a little bit more, they focus their attention a little bit more, and I just can't imagine the difference that I can make as being Miss Louisiana and doing that. Uh, what are you majoring in in college, and what do you hope to do after you graduate? I'm majoring in biology, and I'm hoping to become a physician's assistant specializing in dermatology. All right. And tell us, what have the scholarship dollars this organization gives meant to you? It's been great, especially going into the medical field. It's going to help so much in my next few years of schooling, because it's going to be a lot, and it's really going to um, make a difference. My name is Laura Levine. I am Miss St. Tammany Heritage. I'm from Slido, Louisiana, and I go to the University of Southern Mississippi. All right, tell us a little bit about your platform and why you chose it. My platform is Shine a Light on Autism. It's really dear to my heart because my sister is autistic, so it's been a, something that I've been dealing with and coping with, and I really want to raise awareness and acceptance amongst my community. And why do you want to be the next Miss Louisiana? I want to be the next Miss Louisiana because I believe that the Miss Louisiana organization brings a good opportunity for women to become a better person, to make a difference, as well as bring awareness of certain platforms and standings. And All right. Uh, tell us, what are you majoring in in college and what do you hope to do afterwards? I'm majoring in broadcast journalism, uh, specifically media and news. I want to be a news anchor, um, hopefully in New York. That's where, that's my dream. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and uh, tell us uh, a little bit about what you plan to do when you get to New York. What I plan to do when I get to New York is... Um, well, hopefully obtain that job that I want to get. And um, with broadcasting news, I feel like um, in today's society, we kind of tend to go towards of, like several celebrity stuff. And um, I want to focus on what's really going on in the world and make people aware of that. I'm Chelsea Hemel. I'm from Munz, Louisiana. I'm a recent graduate of Southeastern Louisiana University, and I am Miss Capital City. Well, tell us a little bit about your platform and why you chose it. My platform is the power of me improving self-image. And growing up as a dancer, of course, I had to deal with the stereotypes of how a dancer is supposed to look, and I didn't necessarily have the dancer's body. And I think this extends so far past just the dance world. It goes into the media and how young girls are so affected with the way magazines look, with women being airbrushed, and how people look on TV. And I want to promote to girls and boys that that's fake. Just look past all of that it's about being who you truly are not about what you look like tell us why do you want to be the next Miss Louisiana I want to be the next Miss Louisiana because I feel like I have a strong healthy message to promote to our youth and young adults alike as well as adults I feel like everyone could benef benefit from this and um, I just want to try my best to get the message out there well, now that you've graduated, what field are you planning to go into to get a job? I'm actually working as a pharmaceutical sales rep right now, fully employed, and I love my job. I wouldn't trade it for the world. And tell us, what do the scholarship dollars here, how are they going to help you in the future? Of course, as a recent graduate, I did receive the top scholarship and different scholarships from Southeastern, but of course, I do have student loans like most of us, so those scholarships will definitely, hopefully, be a big help and maybe even help if I plan to go back to graduate school one day. I am Robin Oguigny from Baton Rouge. I am the Spirit of the Bayou, and I'm from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Well, tell us a little bit about your platform and why you chose it. 
my platform is Coffee Collaborative Objectives, Fostering Fairness, Equality, and Excellence. And it's about closing the income inequality gap. And basically, coffee is something that kind of brings everyone together despite of what socioeconomic background you have. You know, 54% of Americans drink at least two cups of coffee a day. So I have a coffee call initiative, which basically brings people together to talk about why we have the judgments we do about people who are different classes than us and so we can have a better understanding of each other. Then from there you can have collaborative efforts in order to see what we can do to alleviate the problem. And why do you want to be the next Miss Louisiana? I want to be the next Miss Louisiana because I really want to empower women. I am all about women and I feel like there are so many different facets of women that a lot of people don't get to see and Miss America is just, Miss Louisiana I should say, is just one way that you can show off all those facets of yourself. And what are you majoring in in college and what do you hope to do after you graduate? I am a mass communications major with a concentration in broadcast journalism and I mean the first step is really to become a reporter but eventually I'd like to anchor, become a foreign correspondent. So but definitely become a reporter first. Uh, I'm Jillian Tippin. I'm Miss Spirit of Ruston this year. I'm from West Monroe, Louisiana, and I just graduated back in November from Louisiana Tech University. All right, tell us a little bit about your platform and why you chose it. My platform is MedCamps of Louisiana. We do um, summer camps for children with chronic illnesses and disabilities, and I chose it because I fell in love with all of the campers out at MedCamps. Um, there's something special about getting to be at summer camp. It's something I never did as a child, and I think it's a really important um, thing that we do providing these camps to children with disabilities. Why do you want to be our next Miss Louisiana? I want to be Miss, Miss Louisiana because I grew up never thinking that I could be Miss Louisiana or you know, do too many great things. And I want to be not just a role model, but an inspiration for these young girls who were just like me growing up and just prove to them that you can do these kinds of things and you can do great things even if you didn't think you could when you were younger. My name is Megan Lee. I'm from Delha, Louisiana. I currently attend Louisiana Tech University and I am serving as Miss Louisiana Watermelon Festival. Tell us a little bit about your platform and why you chose it. Well, my platform is giving back the importance of volunteerism and I chose that because it was very difficult for me to narrow it down to one specific organization or cause that I wanted to advocate for and so I just decided that because I'm involved in so many things I really wanted to show especially the youth of Louisiana how important it is that we give back to our communities and all the benefits that that can bring along with it. Why do you want to be the next Miss Louisiana? I want to be Miss Louisiana so that I can make that impact across our state, so that I can touch the lives of every person, every child that I come in contact, and they can say, I remember the day that I met Miss Louisiana because of something that I did or said or gave to them. Uh, tell us a little bit about what the scholarship dollars this organization provides have meant to you? Well the scholarship dollars have actually helped me this last year. I'm a fifth year in college and so that means that my top scholarships are all gone. I've used them up in my first four years and so the scholarships that I've won through the Miss Louisiana organization have helped let me continue my education and will help to pay for graduate school next year. Christina Gray, my university is the University of Louisiana at Monroe. My title is Miss Pride of Monroe and I'm originally from New Orleans, Louisiana, but my hometown is Winfield, Louisiana. Okay. Uh, tell us, what is your platform and why did you choose it? My platform is mentoring, and I chose mentoring because I know it's helped me throughout the years so much. Without proper mentors and good people to help, me, help lead me in the right direction, I'm not sure where I would be. All right, why do you want to be the next Miss Louisiana? I would love to be the next Miss Louisiana to spread my platform. I know it's something that means a lot to me, and I'd hope to be able to get other people involved in mentoring as well throughout the state. Uh, what are you majoring in in college, and what do you hope to do after you graduate? I'm currently majoring in business uh, management, and I hope to become a CEO one day, owning my own company. My name is Justine Kerr. I am the current Miss Report, and I am from Vanderbilt University, but my hometown is Ruston, Louisiana. All right, Justine, tell us a little bit about your platform and why you chose it. My platform is a beautiful mind promoting positive mental health, and the reason I chose it is because in college I realized that students get really stressed out. They really don't take care of their mind as much as they do their body, and it's something that I've realized is applicable to not only college students, but the rest of the community as a whole. So something I want to bring to Louisiana and to share with my community is to teach them the techniques needed to de-stress, to take care of their mind just as they do their physical, physical body. Well, tell us a little bit about why you want to be the next Miss Louisiana. 
I want to be the next Miss Louisiana because it serves as an outlet for me to lead. It serves as a way for me to represent my state, it represent my university on a level that is fun and I can be happy being Miss Louisiana because I think it's a way for me to spread my platform and that's something I'm very, very passionate about. Okay, tell us a little bit about what, what you've chosen to do in college and what you hope to do after you graduate. I'm currently a neuroscience major, so I really, really hope to go to medical school. I'm actually applying for medical school this summer amidst all of this Miss Louisiana craziness, but I'm crossing my fingers. Hopefully, I'll get a couple interviews and get accepted. Hey, my name is Lauren Ford, and I am uh, thrilled to represent my university this year. That is the University of Louisiana at Monroe, and I'm from Monroe, Louisiana. And like I said, I'm just very excited to represent my Warhawks this year. Uh, tell us a little bit about your platform and why you chose it. Uh, my platform is called Without a Doubt Character Counts and I chose this because I feel that um, your character is central to who you are. It influences all of, the, all of the decisions that you make and everything that you do in your life and so I knew that as Miss ULM and as um, hopefully as Miss Louisiana I wanted that opportunity to be able to instill um, those positive values in the youth across our state. Uh, tell us why you want to be the next Miss Louisiana. I want to be Miss Louisiana because um, this would be such a dream come true. I think Miss Louisiana has such a voice across our state and it would just be incredible to be able to have that influence in um, Louisiana's youth and to help develop those, uh, those youth into leaders and really just to make an impact across Louisiana. Uh, tell us what you're majoring in in college and what you plan to do after you graduate. Um, I am a pharmacy major and currently I'm in my second year of the pro uh, doctorate program in pharmacy and after I graduate I hope to work um, actually right here in Monroe as a hometown pharmacist. My name is Jalen Henderson. I'm Miss Bossier City 2015. I am from Monroe, Louisiana and I'm currently a high school senior but I plan to attend ULM in the fall. All right, tell us a little bit about your platform and why you chose it. It is youth mentoring, and the name of it is Let's Sow a Seed. It's just about helping kids, you know, with their self-esteem and building character so that they know that beauty is what they see in themselves and not what the world sees. And why do you want to be the next Miss Louisiana? Because I would love to spread my platform and help kids know, and exactly what I said, that their beauty is what they see when they look in the mirror, not what this world sees, not what the TV says, not what the radio says, not what the next magazine says, but what you see when you wake up every day. And what are you majoring in in college, and what do you hope to work in after you graduate? Elementary education. I would love to teach third grade. My name is Taylor Walker. I'm from Shreveport, Louisiana. My title is Miss Northwestern Lady of the Bracelet, and I'm going to school at Northwestern State University of Louisiana. All right, tell us a little bit about your platform and why you chose it. My platform is called Keeping the Dream Alive, and the dream that I'm referring to is the same dream that Martin Luther King had in his famous I Have a Dream speech. What I want to do is encourage the younger generations especially to make a change of heart so that we can end hate and discrimination in our communities. And why do you want to be the next Miss Louisiana? I think that with the title and position of Miss Louisiana, that will give my platform the best opportunity it has to spread farther than just our communities to our whole state and maybe even nationwide. Um, tell us what are you majoring in in college and what do you hope to do after you graduate? I'm actually a double major in both psychology and theater with a concentration in dance. I would love to pursue performance as much as I can and be on the stage, but I also intend to go back to graduate school and get a master's in counseling. Emily Randon, I go to Southeastern Louisiana University. My title is Miss Southeastern Louisiana University 2015 and my hometown is Covington, Louisiana. All right, tell us a little bit about your platform and why you chose it. My platform is Skin Cancer Advocacy and Awareness. I chose it because I once had a skin cancer scare and I also had a loved one who died of skin cancer. So I just want to advise young women to stay out of the tanning beds. All right, and tell us why you want to be the next Miss Louisiana. I want to be the next Miss Louisiana so that I can help save lives because of lives lost to skin cancer. All right, and tell us a little bit about um, what what you plan to do after you graduate from college. I plan on going on to a PT program for physical therapy and getting my doctorate. And what do the scholarships dollars that this organization gives mean to you? It means opportunity. It means being able to succeed and do what I want to do in life and be able to help others because of it. Hi, my name is Jill Hillard. I attend the University of Louisiana at Monroe. I am originally from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and I am Miss Monroe 2015. Uh, tell us a little bit about your platform and why you chose it. My platform is Operation Turnaround. It's basically geared towards low-income communities and stopping violence amongst teens and adolescents through mentorship. 
Okay, tell us a little bit about why you want to be the next Miss Louisiana. I think that Miss Louisiana gives me the platform I need to reach a vast majority of the youth. Um, I'm really passionate about the youth, really passionate about mentorship, and I think that will really help launch me into my platform. Uh, tell us a little bit about what the scholarships dollars this organization provides. How have they helped you and why is that important? Well, I do pay for my college education based on the scholarships that I receive from pageantry. Um, people think that's actually pretty awesome. Um, I think that it's going to really help me graduate from my undergraduate degree debt free and I'm really excited about that. I don't have any student loans. My name is Bailey Howell. I am currently Miss Minden. My hometown is also Minden, Louisiana and I will be attending the University of Louisiana at Monroe. Alright, tell us a little bit about your platform and why you chose it. My platform is Hope for the Homeless. Um, throughout the year I've been very involved in the Shreveport Providence House and it's really just truly showed me how truly blessed I am and how truly blessed we all are to have a home and to have meals and to have clothes to wear. And it's really just made a huge impact on my life and I want to continue to share my knowledge with my peers on the Shreveport Providence House and share the um, negative effects that homelessness can have on an individual. And why do you want to be the next Miss Louisiana? Um, the Miss Louisiana organization is amazing. It would be an honor and privilege to have the opportunity to represent this organ organization as well as the state of Louisiana. And being crowned Miss Louisiana would also give me the opportunity to raise awareness for my platform. Uh, what do you hope to go into in college and then later on pursue as a career? Um, I'm actually going to major in pharmacy and um, in hopes of becoming a successful independent pharmacist someday. My name is Kelly Bernard. I am a senior at Southeastern Louisiana University. I am Miss Dixie Jim Peach and I'm from Hammond, Louisiana. All right, tell us a little bit about your platform and why you chose it. My platform is eating disorder awareness and prevention. Uh, back when I was 12 years old, I suffered from an eating disorder and uh, I went through inpatient and outpatient treatment. And at, it was at that point that I realized that I wanted to make a program to inspire young women to be confident within their own skin. Great, tell us why you want to be the next Miss Louisiana. I want to be the next Miss Louisiana simply just because Miss Louisiana was always that positive role model for myself. And um, she was somebody that I looked up to who reminded me that it was okay to be myself and to have hobbies and dreams and goals and aspirations and, and to be comfortable in my own skin. And it would be an honor to be that role model for young women around the state just like she was for me. Uh, what are you majoring in in college and what do you plan to do after you graduate? I'm a marketing major at Southeastern Louisiana University and I want to be a part of a marketing team for a professional sports team. And what have the scholarships dollars this organization provides meant to you? They, they mean everything. Um, it's one of the main reasons why we compete in the Miss Louisiana Miss America organization is for the scholarship. Um, I was put in a position uh, about a year ago where I had to take out loans for the first time and thanks to TOPS. And because of my Miss Louisiana scholarship money, I've been able to continue uh, going to school debt free and I'm eternally grateful for that. I didn't grow up in pageants. I was an athlete. And I would tell them not to be afraid to enter a pageant because you develop such valuable skills that I think now I take for granted, the interview skills, um, learning confidence and believing in myself. I mean, I developed all of that in the pageant system. So I would tell them not to be afraid to go for it. And uh, I think, you know, you might be surprised you might end up being Miss Louisiana one day. Well, you said you've learned a lot. Tell us, what is uh, three top things that you've learned by being Miss Louisiana? I would say, um, hmm, that's a tough one. Perseverance. Uh, you know, you have days that it, this is a fun job, but when you're up at 6 a.m. for several weeks straight and traveling over a thousand miles in a week, it gets a little hard. So perseverance for sure. Um, I've learned uh, to appreciate my friends and my family because with all the traveling and with all the hard work, they've always been there for me 100%. And of course, I've learned the value of the scholarship money that you earn in this organization. I'll be starting law school in August, so I will put that money to very good use. And finish my master's in mass communications. So the next three years of my life will be devoted to school and studying and tests. So I'll be curious to see what, uh, what interest I find while I enter law school and where I want to go from there. Well, you said uh, Miss Louisiana was a goal. You set it. You met it. So where do you want to be in five years? Five years. Um, maybe I'll be this 
cool, awesome attorney somewhere or a legal correspondent on Fox or CNN. I mean, I don't know. I'm very open. I will say being Miss Louisiana has been a professional fast track getting to meet people and um, network with people. So hopefully I will definitely use the connections I've made this year with all the hard work I've put in this year and um, just advance my career as much as possible.